In this Logmaster short, we will be covering off your initial setup of your driver account and your first login. On my screen, you can see my email account is set up here, and on my left hand side, we have my mobile phone. For the beginning, we will go through and we'll click on the welcome email. Um, it'll come from Logmaster, and welcome to Logmaster, Johnny Citizen. Johnny is my driver. The email will be here, business demo, which is the account that I set up on, has added you to Logmaster platform for the Australian region. Your username is this email address. That is very important because that is the email that we will be using for logging into the website and to the mobile application. To review the T's and C's in privacy policy, contracts, and accept the invitation, click accept. Here you'll see the links for the terms and conditions, the privacy statement, and the Logmaster end user license agreement. Please click on these and read these carefully before clicking agree. At this point, you can create your password. This password will be the same password that you use to log in to the mobile phone and to the web portal. Hit submit here. Welcome to Logmaster Australia portal. Your account has been created. Now that your account is created, you can actually log in to the account. This is my email account and my password. Every driver has their own personal portal in which they can log in, review their compliance report, access any business data, and we'll be expanding on this system over time. Now to the mobile application, uh, my device is an Android device. If you are using an Apple device, uh, you just access the Apple Store. <clears throat> and if you go into the Play Store, click at the top, search for Logmaster, and select the Logmaster Australia application. I have already installed my application. So on the Logmaster application, it'll pop up with your first component. All you need to do is put in your email address. And log in. You will need to accept the permissions to allow Logmaster to use your location while using this app is the best way to do that. And that'll clear the error message for the GPS. From here, you can start creating events.